Republican Congressman Eric Cantor of Virginia is the newly elected House Majority Leader. Congressman Cantor, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Matt, good morning. Before we talk about specifics of this meeting today, let's talk about tone. There's a lot of mistrust between the two parties, some battle scars from the midterms. Are you walking into that room today in the mood for compromise or confrontation? You know, Matt, we're walking into the room with the realization that we're not going to agree with the president on everything. We, we understand that. But I do hope that we can, out of this meeting today, leave with a resolve to try and address the economy. And one of the most important things that we can do there is to ensure that taxes and rates don't go up for anybody right now while we have such unemployment. So no compromise there at all? I mean, could you not see possibly raising taxes just a little bit on the people who make $250,000 a year? Or if you want to leave those in place, perhaps raise taxes a little bit on people who make over a million dollars a year? You know, Matt, I think that what we heard in, on November 2nd from the people of this country uh, is, number one, they want to see Washington start producing results. And so I'm hoping this, this meeting at the White House is going to be in that direction and different from those in the past, that we can actually set aside some of the ideological extremes and come together where most Americans are. We want to make sure that we're doing everything to get people back to work right now. And that means we've got to ensure that taxes don't go up on anybody, especially on the small businesses that we're expecting to create jobs so we can finally bring the unemployment down. Right, so what you're telling me is no compromise whatsoever on the Bush era tax cuts. Well, listen, Matt, one, one or two things is going to happen in January. Either taxes go up or they stay the same. Nobody's getting a tax cut here. So there's no compromise or not on, on that particular issue. We're just saying that we don't think tax rates should go up right. when we're suffering in such an economy. You talk about the message sent by voters in the midterm elections. One of the things those voters want is they want to cut spending. And the problem is, how do you do it? So let me try this again with you, Congressman. Are you willing to perhaps raise the Social Security retirement age? Are you willing to make cuts in Medicare? Are you willing to make cuts in defense spending? Are any of those issues on the table? I think, you know, we've got to have everything on the table right now, Matt. That's also what we heard from the people uh, on November 2nd, is that Washington's got to start working for the people again and not the other way around. So everything should be on the table. I don't think we should leave any stone unturned while we're trying to do what most people in this country have done, which is tighten the belt, which is to try and live within our means. All right, that sounds like an opening there. Let me end on a different subject altogether. They full house could vote as early as today on punishment for Charlie Rangel, the congressman, long-serving congressman from New York. It could either be reprimand or censure, censure being the most, uh, I guess, the toughest of those, those two punishments. How will you vote? Well, well, we'll have to see how this unfolds. But as you know, Matt, the uh, committee that heard the testimony has recommended the toughest uh, since uh, the, sen the toughest sentence, which is censure. Uh, obviously, these are some pretty grave uh, allegations, and now the committee has found uh, Mr. Rangel guilty of those. So you agree uh, with is, that committee's I, recommendations? Will you vote for censure? I, I, I will look to see how this comes forward, but yes, I will, I will look to make sure that the recommendations of the committee that has spent a long time looking at these allegations are carried through. All right, so that's a yes. <laughs> Again, Matt, I want to see what, what, what comes forward, but I would, yes, uh, support the toughest uh, 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 punishment uh, as per the committee's recommendations. All right, Congressman Cantor, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you.